Hello, I'm Peter Whittle, director of the New Culture Forum. Now, I don't know about you, but there's an expression which I don't seem to hear very much anymore. You used to hear people say things like, it's a free country, but that phrase seems to be disappearing. And that's hardly surprising. Many people feel it no longer is free. Free speech upon which our democracy is based and which we have fought battles for throughout our history is under threat now from all sides. From universities through to the workplace, what can and cannot be said is becoming more and more prescribed. Every day brings a new story and people despair of what appears to be the total lack of opposition to the growing forces of intolerance and censorship. But they would feel reassured if our Prime Minister and government showed for a moment that they understood the seriousness of the situation and indeed cared about it. But we hear nothing. When President Macron recently stood firmly for French freedom of expression in the wake of the murder of the teacher Samuel Petit by an Islamist, there was little support from this cowardly government. Just a few weeks ago, a teacher at Eton was fired simply for posting a lecture which dared to challenge the radical feminist orthodoxy. Such censorship brings forth not a word of protest from this spineless Prime Minister, who you would think, as an old Etonian, if nothing else, would have something to say about it. But no. The truth is, when it comes to the attack on free speech, one of the most important issues we face Boris Johnson is nowhere to be seen. Should we care what he and his government say or don't say? Yes, because the public needs to know that their political leaders, the people they voted for, believe as strongly as they do in our values and are prepared to stand up for them. Recently, the Law Commission published proposals on hate speech, the crime that is unique in that it requires no evidence at all. What did they come up with? A proposal that hate crime legislation should be extended into our homes. So that means that you and I could be prosecuted if somebody takes exception to something we say in our own home. This is truly sinister. It's astonishing that such proposals could even be put forward in Britain by a serious body. What is most worrying of all is that Boris Johnson has said nothing about this. It is no wonder that people are fearful of what our country is becoming. So I say to Boris Johnson, publicly dismiss these insidious proposals now. Show some leadership on this crucial issue. Prove to people that you care as much about our values as they do. The time for simply being silent is over. Freedom of speech is not just another issue. Without it, we are lost. This government and this Prime Minister must stand up for our culture and our democracy. Thank you.